Hey guys, Trevor here from Grim Press, and I just want to give you guys a little bit of a preview for a Fantasy Grounds module we've just released on the DMs Guild. Igwilv's Ill-Gotten Inventory uh, has 90 different magic items, but they all have a little bit of a curse on them. So, as we flip through this, I just kind of want to show you. The first thing we're going to look at is the reference manual. So on here, uh, the creator. Christoph, right? Shout out. And uh, also want to highlight, obviously, Bob, the artist, and Matt uh, for putting together this awesome Fantasy Grounds module. So looking through here, everything is organized into the different types of items that there are. Odds and ends, we can pull down these massive lists here, right? So you can take a look through all of these. Some new marks, similar to what's in Fizzbands. Armor, weapons, elixirs, um, and then a super special item at the end here, right? And then some staffs as well. So we're going to take a, a quick look at some of these. One of our major design philosophies with this module was that all of the items within belong to the master demonologist. And to prevent you from taking them, she has actually cursed them. So we have curses. And there's severities here, so a little write-up on that. Um, but you'll see a little bit more detail on that once we start jumping into some of the items. So let's just pull up a list here. Uh, how about the frigid step boots? Okay, so we can pull up every item as detailed like this with a story entry, which is linked in the reference manual, or you can find them over here. All right, so you can read on here. Right. Um, they've also been coded as items that you can hand out to your players. And each item in this module has a unique piece of art uh, associated with it, right? So all of this is shareable with your players. Some other things that we did uh, include on here, you can see, so they all have a non-ID name, right? So before you share it with your players, if they haven't identified it, you can click that off and give it to them and then they can identify and attune to it however they go through that. And then they also have a gold uh, cost to purchase, so you could potentially populate um, some of the shops with, with a bunch of the items out of here. So we'll just close that one, right? But what we've really focused on is every item in here has some form of a, a curse, right? So with these ones, while you're attuned to these boots, you must succeed on a DC 10 constitution saving throw each time you complete a long rest or be frozen solid for 1d4 hours. So that's just kind of one of the ex uh, examples. So this is a lesser curse. There's some more severe ones in here, right? I don't want to want to spoil everything, but we can kind of flip through and look at some of these other ones. Uh, here are some marks. So this is similar to kind of what's in Fizzbands, right? Uh, so it highlights that. So let's just take the first one here. So with this mark, you can apply double your proficiency bonus to Arcana skill checks, but it does have a curse. If you fail a check, you must immediately expend a spell slot of first or higher level. Okay, if this happens and you take damage, right? So they all kind of have a little, a little um, curse attached to them as well. So from the reference manual, I also will show you this. This is one of the one cool item in the game here because we've also, in addition to this this tomb, right? So it has you know the sheet. It's got the art attached, right? So you can see all this how it's linked in the reference manual. This one also has spells that have been created for this supplement. So let's just take a look at one here. Okay, so make a melee spell attack against a target, they take damage, and they must roll on the short-term madness table, so that's linked here. This is also out of the SRD, so if you click that, click here, it'll just open up the SRD for you, and you can roll on that table as well. But one thing that I think is really cool with this is that not all of the curses are immediately... Um, Ha immediately have detrimental effects, right? So on here, those who possess this tomb, learn from it, gain knowledge, but each time they cast a spell, the book's knowledge, they feel a terrible t chill down their spine. Something is coming for them, and they know it, right? 
feel stale, cold air, but it doesn't actually define what this thing is. That can be up to the to the game master, right? And it can, you know, this is an artifact rarity item, right? So this is something that can just can maybe give to your players and over time it, it kind of expands and, and you can, as the game master, you can expand on that throughout your campaign. So that's kind of cool. And there's a couple different things like that in there as well. So um, we'll close that. Close the reference manual. Here's images from this module, right? So you can see that everything on here, every item, all 90 of them have their own art attached, right? So you can click on that, right? So you can see all the different art in here, right? Oh, here's a nice spoiler for a portrait, right? You guys, someone might know who that is. Uh, so we'll close that. Got some other items over here that we can look at, right? So Labyrinth Great Axe. So found in an endless maze next to a skeleton of a minotaur, right? Bonus to attack. In addition, you cannot get lost and you remember any path that you've traveled. But the curse, you lack the capacity to explain in detail to any other creatures while you're attuned, right? So it's, it's kind of a cool RP type curse, not necessarily a detrimental effect. Right, so that's kind of cool. Let's look at another one here. Ring of Inspiration, so this requires a tomb and bot from a bard. When you complete a short rest, you can use a bardic die to regain an amount of spell slots uh, equal to your charisma modifier. So that's pretty cool. It's rare, right? So that's pretty good. Um, after regaining the spell slots, you have disadvantage on performance checks until you complete your next long rest. In addition, if you roll below a 12, on a check while attuned to this ring, you lose proficiency in one magical instrument, turn them randomly, until you complete a long rest. All right, so that's kind of cool, like some RP things in there, right? Uh, so close that one, let's look at another one here. Horn of uh, Quasit Summoning. So once per short rest, you can use an action to blow into the horn. It summons three Quasits in uh, unoccupied space within 30 feet of you so on something like this we give you the stat block right so you have that in there and then of course there's art right and then let's look at another one here tomb of chaotic musings okay so this one's great uh so it it has a bookmark i'll show you the image right that randomly goes to different pages in it right can be affected by a curse and so on this one it has a table that we've linked and so this is rollable all right so that's some of the, and then it'll output okay but also the the curse on this one's a little unique as well right so you can choose to attune to this tomb because it does not normally require attunement if you do so you instead roll on the magic surge table but are poisoned in a, if you roll an odd number in addition to whatever you roll, right? So on here, here's the search table. So this is linked from the player's handbook. I already have it open. Uh, and so this will open it up, right? And then you can roll on that. And that'll give you... Okay, so it wasn't odd, so it would have had that extra effect, right? Oh, that's a good one. So that probably wipes the party if you're low enough level. And then we give you the NPC sheets as well. Right, so you kind of got all that, right? So... I hope this was, uh, you know, a good little little teaser of what's in this in this module. Uh, 90 magic items. They're all cursed, right? So this can be, uh, you know, something that you can give give to your players and uh, add a little, make your campaigns a little dynamic. Great. So if you like this video, you like this content, there will be links down in the description below to the the page on the DMs Guild where you can pick this up. It's also available as a PDF. Um, and if you want to know or hear more, we're always talking about D&D &D stuff on and Fantasy Grounds things, so you can like and subscribe to our YouTube page and be notified when we post new content. Thanks.